Monique. I'd come to meet yes. Monique, Monique. Paul, who runs a sanctuary for animals that have yeah, lost their coming. forest to chainsaws Hello. and excavators. Hi. Monique, Simon Reeve, nice to see you. Hi, nice to meet you, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the scale of what you've got here. This whole centre is something you've had to fund and build in, in recent years. Yes, but um, I had a lot of help. This is the animal kitchen, Monique is pointing out, <laughs> in this converted shipping container. Should I take one or leave it? Yeah, you can take one. Yeah. Yeah. From yes. small, almost accidental beginnings, Monique has become one of the leading conservationists in the country, raising thousands of pounds in donations Monique. to protect wildlife, particularly for one iconic animal, the sloth. Who's in here? This is uh, Renatus. It's an orphan. Renatus, look at you there. And this is Stevie. Stevie? Stevie is a bit bigger, but also an orphan. Over the last decade, Monique has rescued, rehabilitated and released more than 1,000 sloths. And this is Little Ball. Is it safe to look up or am I going to get weed on? No. <laughs> they don't like to sit in the tree from above and poop. They don't poop from on high? That I've never seen it. They come down once every week to poop and pee. They lose like a third of their weight when they do that. That's a massive poop. Yes. That'd be like me doing 30 kilograms. Yes. What a horrific thought. <laughs> Seems to have tickled Monique. <laughs> <laughs> the reputation is they're a bit dim. They're not Actually. dim. They're not dim, but they're just slow. And that's because they're so smart that they conserve their energy because the food they eat is uh, low in nutrition. And they are you know, like one of the oldest um, mammals on Earth. And they're very Let's South say... American. I'm very proud of them. So what is your plan for Stevie and the other orphan? Yeah, the plan for these animals, are they going to be released? Because they don't belong in, in these enclosures. The, our goal is really to let them go. Living in a country with the world's highest forest cover doesn't mean that sloths are safe here. So Monique's had a phone call. A sloth has been rescued. It's in bad shape and she's heading back into town to have a look at it. Sloths live in the coastal part of the Guyana Shield. Perhaps inevitably, that's also where the vast majority of the human population live. You see that forest fragment there? Yeah. That, that would be perfect sloth habitat. If you look at the vines and everything, they love to hide under it. This is good for them. But now we're out into shrubby farmland. Yeah, there will be maybe uh, small pockets where they can survive until that last tree gets cut, and then they don't have anything left. Right. Suriname's economy relies heavily on mining and logging. Most of its exported timber ends up in India and China. So these are exactly the machines that do this type of deforestation. They push the trees. Oh, I see. So they, they use the bucket on the yes. front just to knock trees yes. down. This machine is so powerful. It will clear six to seven hectares of forest in one day. In one day? Yeah. And with all the animals that are in it, and the slots are the slowest, so they, they stay behind. Sloths are also endangered for another reason. They're worth a fortune when sold as exotic pets.